This week is sponsored by China Glaze, and they asked us to hand paint a masterpiece on one single hand, Picasso style, using nail polish and acrylic paint only. Since we were allowed to paint whatever we wanted, as long as it's in Picasso style, I started off by getting to know him a little bit better first. If you're going to paint like Picasso, you have to think like Picasso. He was born in 1881 in Spain and died later in 1973. He was clearly a natural talent and around 10 years of age he started to sign his paintings with his name Picasso. He always had a strong drive to experiment and push boundaries with his art. His work was always known as very obscene, obnoxious and even provoking for his time. He wanted to have a strong statement with his pieces and make people think and react. He started to get into the style surrealism and that is what he has become most famous for. You know where the faces are often divided in half and one side is in profile and the other one is straightforward. Noses and eyes are on different levels and he loved to experiment with ugly colors and shapes to add even more contrast and dimension. So, to create a Picasso masterpiece, you really need to add some meaning behind it. I wanted a theme that is close to my heart and would make people think and react. So I ended up with how today's society affects the way we feel and think about our bodies and appearance. But I'll just jump right into the tutorial and I'll explain my thoughts on the way. When the base was built and filed in different shapes, because I figured if Picasso would have been a nail tech, this is probably the way he would have done it. I started to push up the cuticles just a tiny little bit extra. That way you'll be able to get the nail polish super duper close to the cuticles as it comes back down after a little while and cover the polish. I wanted my base to be solid white so that all my colors would really pop on top of it. When the polish was dry I started to sketch up my design with some black acrylic paint. Just have something to work with. Okay, back to the theme. I've been working with kids and especially girls since I was 15. I know how hard it is for them growing up with the image of being that perfect woman. They are getting bombed with pictures of perfect bodies and beautiful faces in a whole different way than when I grew up because of the internet. And this of course affects their self-confidence a lot. They don't feel like they are good enough just the way that they are and that is just horrible. And things have quickly moved on from just lips and breast enlargements and now it's all about the booty. So there's a lot for young girls today to hate about themselves. Now it's time for some more polish. I put a nude color on my plate and then used an old nail art brush that I cut shorter to make it a little bit more rough. That way the strokes would end up more rough as well and resemble more to a real painting. Then I just filled in all my base colors where I wanted them to be. At the end I even used some polish to paint the lips. On this nail I wanted to recreate a background for one of Picasso's paintings, so I did this with some acrylic paint. If you're unsure when I use acrylic paint and when I use polish, just look at the brush. The white one is for polish and the black one is for acrylic paint. And back to the theme. I'm not at all saying that I'm against plastic surgery though, just to get that straight. This is about the way society makes us feel and think. I have beautiful friends who I believe are perfect in every way, but are thinking about getting something done just because all of their other friends already did it. I wish that more people would think of their small breasts, booty or lips as a beautiful part of themselves and not something that is ugly or should be fixed just because. Back to the nails for a second. Here I've started to redo the black lines I did before using some acrylic paint and then I'm going in with layers and layers and layers of ugly cool colors just the way that Picasso and I like it. And to get that extra dimension and contrast, don't forget about the highlights. It's all about the highlights. I also decided to divide the faces in half because it's a Picasso thing. And on the pinky I painted my Picasso syringe with a zigzag needle to match the background. Time to get ready for surgery. Here I'm drawing teeny tiny blue lines where the knife is going in. And so here you have my finished Picasso masterpiece. In the spirit of Picasso, I would love for you to vent your own feelings and thoughts about the theme I've addressed. Can you honestly say that you are not affected at all? Or are you aware that you look at yourself in a certain way because of today's society? Discuss below as crazy and don't forget to vote! The link is listed in the box together with all of my other social media sites. You can start today at around 5pm until Thursday at 11am, all Pacific Standard Time.
And until the next video, love yourself, be kind, and don't say anything about your body that you wouldn't tell your best friend. Peace out and hello!